Now I hope you can understand how this shrapnel has exploded in the classroom. Because when you think about Tim, this is a classroom just before lunch. Tim is hungry. He's got a pain in his stomach because he didn't have any breakfast. He has heard an angry man shout, shut up. And when that happened, he put his hand to his face and Tim has acne. So the echo of the nappy rash is in what he feels on his face. So that combination together triggered inside him. It touched some of his trauma. And so what you observed from him going, don't speak to me like that, was trauma triggered behavior that's triggered the historic fight flight response. He's in his base brain. He is not thinking consciously. To the outside world, that looks like aggressive behavior. It looks like aggressive behavior, but you can now see that this is trauma triggered because it's inside him. What people don't see is the scared, terrified infant that's on the inside. They might just see the aggression and nothing else. And he is trying to stay safe in the only way that he knows from a completely automatic way of being. It gets even more complex because when he's in the cot, when he is in his cot, how does he protect himself? And we know that some children in that situation do not survive. Others do. And I think metaphorically, what he does is he wraps himself in bubble wrap. Now, bubble wrap is very useful to protect precious things. It's what we use it for. However, bubble wrap distorts. Our view of Tim and Tim's view of the world. So not only do we have the shrapnel on the inside, it is obscured by multiple layers of bubble wrap. So we cannot see what's going on the inside for Tim. What we see is the presenting behavior on the outside, we are not able to see what's going on on the inside. This helps us understand what's going on for Tim. Tammy also has bubble wrap, but hers is slightly different. It's maybe got larger bubbles and it makes noise. Whenever somebody tries to unwrap it, which makes it even harder to get the bubble wrap off of Tammy, or Tim to actually see what's inside. And with Tammy, how does she behave? And she has her bubble wrap. And let's just think of her behavior. 
as she moves up. And she might be looking for someone that helps her feel safe. She might be finding that she can relieve her pain through self-harming. That might give her a temporary relief. How does she deal with boys or men? She's compliant. She's a smile and nod, yes. She's been compliant all the way through. The absence of temp tan toddler tantrums, the compliance in school, the smile and nod. So as she gets into the teenage years, she's perfect as a victim for grooming. She's compliant, smile and nod. And the fear is covered up with shrapnel. And it may be that alcohol helps. It may be that drugs help to obscure what's going on on the inside. 